المحاضر القادم هو الاستاذ المهندس محمود جابر ماجستير انتاج حيواني مدرس محاضر سابق في الجامعه الاردنيه وتخصص في انتاج الغذاء الملكات من النحل وايضا متخصص في العلاج بسم النحل عضو الجمعيه الرومانيه والامريكيه في العلاج بسم النحل Assalamu alaikum. Thank you, Dr. Samir. Uh, the title of my presentation is about antinociceptive and anti-inflammatory effects of PBNOM in some chronic diseases. Research review. Uh, PBNOM is one of six products collected and all synthesized by Honeybees. All these products possess security properties as indicated by the Quran. They proceeded from their bellies and then different colors or types when it is medicine for men. This is proved by practical experience and modern research. Bibinon therapy is indicated in various diseases and conditions, such as arthritis, rheumatism, back pain, cancerous tumors, in addition to chronic pain, neurological diseases, autoimmune, dermatological conditions, and cardiac. The history of BBNOM use dates back to ancient times. Hippocrates used it and called it Arcana, a very mysterious remedy. Galen mentioned it in his 500 treatises on medicine. Charlemagne is said to have had himself treated <coughs> with these things. Real scientific progress in BBNOM therapy began about uh, 100, more than 100 years ago when physician Victor um, reported or did research and uh, wrote down this report about a peculiar connection between these things and rheumatism. Baby non therapy is widely used today, especially in China, Korea, Russia, Eastern Europe, and South America. In the US, its use is still controversial. <coughs> Despite of this controversy, baby non therapy has been the subject of many studies in animals as well as in human subjects. Justification for baby non therapy. Western medical treatments of patients with inflammation and pain using NSAIDs or SAIDs have certain adverse effects which highlights the need for safer and more effective treatments. Beacon therapy might be an alternative method. If you look at the beacon components, we find that a groups of components such as peptides, which include melatonin, epibin, NCTP, and adolipin. Uh, enzymes such as hydrolase, phospholipase, acrylamines, thermoglase, and phospholipase. So these are the components. Uh, I'm trying to mention the components which have relation to our subject here. And we, uh, there are studies about the uh, biological effects of these components. For example, adolipine has anti nociceptive and anti inflammatory effects. And the same is for MCDP, muscle degenerative peptide, and melatonin. Uh, despite the known nociceptive and inflammatory effects of these things, BB non therapy is being used increasingly across the globe, including the US, to produce analgesia for an unknown pain and other elements. Here we have a group of, of experimental studies in inflammatory pain animal models. These are the experiments, several experiments. Um, injection of bibinone subcutaneously in acupuncture points in different animal pain uh, models. And the results uh, are reduced inflammation and pain behaviors in animals, which indicates antiviscetic and anti-inflammatory effects in these models. And the authors concluded of these, the authors of these experiments concluded the results of these experimental experiments have revealed the effectiveness of this acupuncture procedure on various kinds of inflammatory pain models. Now we go to the randomized clinical trials in human subjects of different types of pain. Here we have um, 11 randomized clinical trials of pain, including neck pain, lower back pain, acute ankle sprain. Uh, both shoulder uh, stroke, both stroke shoulder pain, rheumatoid arthritis, ultra arthritis, and herniated 
Lambert disk. This is the data, the meta analysis of the data of the 11 trials. And these are the results and the conclusions. Um, the, the results, pain reduction was significantly greater in the below acupuncture groups than in the various control groups in all but one of the 11 including the trials. So the authors concluded that the results of this systematic review and meta analysis provide suggested evidence for the effectiveness of BPNOM acupuncture in treating musculoskeletal pain. Here we have um, three experiments, one randomized and two uncontrolled experiments in uh, rheumatoid arthritis, and the result was tender joint count, morning stiffness, and the bracket findings such as ESR and CRP were, were less in the BPNOM acupuncture than the control group. The uh, uncontrolled experiment, the, BBNOM, the tender joint count, bony stiffness, and swollen joints were significantly more before the treatment compared to after the treatment. And we have uh, in the third experiment a clinical improvements, 90% overall, 90% improvement with different degrees, remarkable, good, and excellent. Here we have uh, another two experiments, one controlled and one uncontrolled for osteoarthritis, and we find that BBNOM acupuncture has significant effect uh, compared to acupuncture alone. And the second experiment, uh, subjective measures of clinical improvement in the symptoms. So the authors concluded that a sufficient number of animal, animal studies have shown that BBNOM acupuncture has significant, significant anti-inflammatory and analgesic effects, and the effectiveness of BBNOM acupuncture for arthritis is likely to be a promising area of future research. And now we look at uh, BBNOM therapy in case studies, not controlled studies. In, this, is, this table shows different types of conditions, mostly rheumatic conditions here, on the first column, uh, and the green color represents the change uh, in health status uh, as cured or better results or distinctly better, and the yellow color represents percentages of a less degree of improvement. And if we combine the percentages represented by green color and yellow color, we find that most of the cases in these conditions uh, were helped by BBNOM therapy. If we look at the anti-inflammatory and anti-nocissive mechanisms of PBNOM, we find that the first mechanism of anti-inflammatory action is through the stimulation of uh, hypophysis and adrenal glands. This leads to the increase in cortisol level, and as you know, cortisol is anti-inflammatory. And the second mechanism is the, through the inhibition of glandin synthesis. Uh, the difference between the analgesics, the, uh, the NSAIDs, is that uh, prostaglandin uh, BBNOM does not inhibit completely the synthesis of prostaglandins and COX. Okay? The table, uh, two, uh, table 11 sorry, uh, shows the anti nocissive mechanisms. It happens through the activation, activation of alpha 2 adrenal receptors or the reduction of C4 expression in the spinal cord or inhibition of cyclooxygenase activity. Moving on therapy safety, uh, different authors have these conclusions. No major complications or side effects other than itching, swelling, headaches, staggering, and flushes are reported, which are relatively well tolerated and do not represent much toxicity in animals as well as in human models, provided the patient is not allergic to moving on. Another uh, author concluded it seems unlikely that chronic BBNOM administration, such as in beekeepers, do not, uh, do not produce clinical disease in humans, and BBNOM therapy can be considered to be relatively insane. BBNOM immunotherapy is another support for BBNOM therapy safety. BBNOM immunotherapy means Vaccination of allergic patients, which are highly sensitive to BBNOM, 
with BB non itself. So we make immunization like vaccination. And BB uh, immunotherapy is the only treatment strategy which has been demonstrated to be an effective medical practice to treat these things in allergic disorders. One minute more. Okay. Clinical studies of BB non immunotherapy identified allergens in BB non from hypersensitive patients and also identified plasma and viscera, the immunoglobulins from the keepers of the IV infected patients. It was found that uh, immunoglobulin G4 in, uh, levels increased and IgE levels decreased in patients with effective BIT. And <coughs> these clinical studies or discoveries led to the current safe and effective use of BDOM immunotherapy. Moreover, they provided enormous amounts of solid evidence suggesting a possibility to use BB non therapy and other non allergic components of BB non to treat rheumatic arthritis and other autoimmune disorders in clinical settings. Conclusion This review showed clearly that BB non therapy has a science based evidence and not for medicine. This makes it a promising alternative therapy to treat chronic pain autoimmune diseases and other elements. This therapy must be done by qualified persons or health practitioners under medical supervision taking into consideration allergic immunome and other contraindications. These are the references and thank you.